We present Gene Equilibrium, a novel interactive visualization technique for large genealogy datasets based on a layered matrix representation. This representation has no crossings, which makes it more scalable than traditional genealogy visualizations. For example, here is a genealogy of 700 individuals presented by Genia Quilts and the same genealogy represented by a node link diagram. Let's start with a simple genealogy of the Simpsons TV series. The basic elements of the Genia Quilts visualization are generations, individuals, male and female, families, and relationships within families. By family, we refer to nuclear families consisting of two parents and their children. For example, in this family, the square above the family indicates that Homer is the father and the circle that Marge is the mother. The circles below show that they have two daughters, Maggie and Lisa, and one son, Bart. Similarly, Marge's parents are Jacqueline and Clancy, and her sisters are Selma and Patty. More generally, cells above the family icon point to the parents of the family and cells below to the children. Cells on the left of individuals show which family they were born into and cells to the right show in which families they participate as parents. In the Greek pantheon, for example, Zeus is a father in more than one family. He married Hera, with whom he had four children, and coupled with other individuals, including one from a different generation. We implemented the Junior Quilt Visualization in an interactive genealogy exploration system. The system consists of a main visualization window, an overview, a query window, and a timeline. For this family of 700 individuals, we can use the overview to quickly pan across the genealogy, while the main window automatically zooms out to fit as much content as possible. At the same time, the timeline shows the time span of the main window. By selecting an individual, we can see all its ancestors and all its descendants. We can toggle the visibility of ancestors and descendants by clicking the selection. By dragging the selection, we can rapidly switch to other individuals. We can also perform multiple selections in different colors. Since Zeus and Poseidon are brothers, their ancestry is displayed in both colors. We can use this color blending feature to find common ancestors. For example, in the Bible genealogy, we might look for the common ancestors of Mary and Joseph. In the overview, we can see where the two colors blend and find out that the most common recent ancestor is King David. Conversely, we can use the color blending to look for marriages between two bloodlines. Matania and Shalom are the first children from both bloodlines, but the overview also tells us that this mixed bloodline seems to die out after a few generations. By observing the overview while dragging a selection, we can also quickly see the influence and lifespan of individual bloodlines. For example, among Noah's grandsons, Arpaxad is the one with the most descendants in this dataset. Following bloodlines can be hard when there are a lot of individuals per generation. We thus introduce the bring and slide technique. We drag to the left of an individual, proxies of her parents appear, and as we drag towards one of the proxies, the related parent is progressively brought to the viewport. Similarly, dragging to the right allows us to navigate through the descendants. The system also shows the attributes of selected entities. For example, in this Parisian family of 230 people, we can see the detailed attributes for Claude and his son. The birth and death date attribute can also see in the timeline. One of Claude's attributes is his title Seigneur de la Sapelle. We can search for other people having the same title and get a real-time preview of the search results. Because the selection span a large part of the genealogy, we can use filtering to adaptively shrink entities that are not related to the current selections. We can now see that the title gets passed in several generations to the firstborn son, usually named Claude, and that the title dies out around the 1700s. We have presented Genia Quilts, a system for interactively exploring genealogies that use a novel visualization technique for presenting large genealogies in a readable manner.